today's tour is actually a very special one because this island I found on a random dream address. If you watched my video last week, you will see that I toured a whole bunch of random dream addresses, but the last one in particular really, really surprised me. Okay, I I can't get over how beautiful this is. If y'all know where I can find this island creator's social media, um, I would love to do like a fully appropriate tour of this island. It was just so beautiful. I was blown away and I was determined to find the creator of that island and see if I could do a full dedicated tour here on my channel. And I did it, I did it. The island creator is Jen. She is just an absolute sweetheart. And she said I could tour her island here on my channel. So that is what we are doing today. But before we fully dive into this tour, I did want to take just one second to thank this video's sponsor. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. As y'all know, I've worked with HelloFresh a handful of times and take it from me, HelloFresh's recipes are so delicious. With 50 weekly options, including a rotating selection of items at the HelloFresh market, there are plenty of delicious dishes to choose from no matter what the occasion is. HelloFresh also helps me reach my goals by not getting in the way of a busy day, which y'all know I am an insanely busy person, and they help me stay on track with simple recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that cut out meal prep and trips to the grocery store. I also love that nearly all of HelloFresh packaging is recyclable, which helps me eat more sustainably. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGKATIEMAY16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and back to the tour. And here we are once again on this beautiful, beautiful island, this time intentionally and not completely randomly. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this map. So pretty, look at that waterscaping in the back right hand corner. That is really, really cool. And this villager lineup, oh my goodness, I am obsessed. Here's the dream address on the screen. Of course, that is going to be in the description box along with Jen's Instagram account, all of that information so that way you can go ahead and give her a follow and see her amazing build. They're so, so good. And this villager lineup, like I said, oh my gosh, we have Marshall, we have Vivian. We have Wart Jr. And then of course my sweet boy, Bo, who by the way, I did see whenever we randomly toured this island and before my controller died, which was just devastating. Then we have Fauna, Eric, Apollo, Maple, Grizzly, and Bon Bon. Quite, quite like a neutral color palette, which I absolutely love. Not to mention this flag is amazing. I think it matches so nicely with the airport and ties in this beautiful green in the entrance. Now I am definitely a sucker for an island that is set whenever it has different kinds of weather like rain, <laughs> you know, rain, snow, fog. All of those islands are so unique and different. Isn't this gorgeous though? So pretty, all of it. I remember seeing this area and just being absolutely floored. Also, if you decide to dream of this island, there will be presents right here, which of course you can steal. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the melon umbrella just because it's A, cute, and B, it's raining. But I see the Mario pipe. Let's go ahead and jump in this. Uh, I'm way too tempted to see what's on the other side to even ignore the fact that it's there. So we're gonna go through the Mario pipe first. Oh, and it brings us to the main house. Cute. Oh wait, is that her? Hello, my friend, how are you? Wait, hello, there we go. <laughs> Forest smells best with rain. I love it, see? Same page, love an island with rain. And look at all of the little farming that you can do right here. So pretty, hello, bunny rabbit. <laughs> this is gorgeous, truly. So, so pretty. And I do know the interiors are not complete, so we're not gonna explore the inside, but do we even need to whenever this exterior is as gorgeous as it is? I love the theme of the brown and green combination. It seems to be something that we see quite a lot. Wait, and where are we? <laughs> where are we on this map? Aha, I see. Okay, so let's do, let's do this. Let's go back to the airport entrance and we'll make our way, of course, over this way again, but I just want to go explore, explore a little bit differently. 
Now last time we went over this bridge and it was uh, not too far away from here that my controller died, but look at how fun this is with all of the gyroids. Of course, I'm a sucker for the black flowers in game, specifically the tulips, but of course right here we have the black lilies, which are stunning. And then Bo's house, I already see it. I already see it and that's how I knew. I knew it was meant for me to tour this island. This is the cutest concept too. I'm gonna pick up these little bells because it's a little wishing well. Isn't that just adorable? I love that concept. And we have a little graveyard right here. The beaches I am obsessed with. I mean, such a phenomenal way to decorate beaches. They're so simple, yet very effective. Oh, and then Blather's tent. I don't remember seeing Blather's tent last time. Oh my God, stop. Oh my gosh, we have the Brewster gyroid right here too. Way too perfect. It's almost like a little bat signal to tell Brewster that he will be here one day. Man, I just upgraded my museum on Cove Cala in my Let's Play series, and I was very, very sad to lose Blather's Tent, but we're gonna try and play that series. <laughs> Pretty natural to the, the progression of Animal Crossing history and all that good stuff. And here is Bo's house. And the snacks. I can't get over the dropped snacks, whether it's Bo or any lazy villager. I just think that is such a sweet little detail. And this pathing, isn't it beautiful? It's so natural and whimsical all at the same time. I just love it. Whee. Oh my gosh, this whole area back here is gorgeous too. Y'all are gonna have to let me know, how do you use your gyroids? Because this is giving me so much more inspiration to put them outside, which I have a few, but not, not many. But seeing them displayed like this is just so, so pretty to me. And it gives so much life to the island. So you'll have to let me know, do you decorate with gyroids inside, outside? or neither, maybe you are anti-gyroid, which shame on you, really, if that's the case. <laughs> Who is over here? Hi, Eric. Hello, you are so cute, it hurts. It's painful, and look, even Eric has a little sandwich. I love it. I definitely ship Eric and um, Fauna, definitely, definitely. Can I jump here? I should be able to. There we go. Look at how pretty, y'all. I love this gyroid because he just looks perpetually dehydrated. <laughs> wow. Oh, and then this brings us back to the house. Look at that. So easy. So easy. <laughs> And here is Froggy Chair. Can I even go that way? Oh, I cannot. Okay, so we're gonna have to get over there a different, different way. This is such a, just something about, oh, hey, campsite, hello. <laughs> something about whether it's the rain or just the neutral color palette, it's very calming. I'm gonna, I think a lot of it is is the rain. It's very soothing. It makes me wanna just like throw on a blanket, turn on the TV, and do quite literally nothing else except listen to the rain. This is so pretty. What is back here? Is this the way to the secret beach maybe? What's back there? Looks like it's just decorated. I love it. Oh, but we do have a ladder right here. This house exterior is so pretty. Whose home is this? Whose home is this? Who lives here? Who is it? Is it Maple? No. It, oh, this is Apollo's home? Well, the exterior has been 
changed, I believe, but it's so beautiful. Apollo. I love your your little nest. Your nest, if you will. <laughs> oh my goodness, of course my neighbors now are just blowing leaves outside. Can you guys, I hope you cannot hear that. It is so frustrating. It's like clockwork. I should have known better. Can I get on here? Whoa, I can't. Hello, Marshall. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh, Marshall. I'm gonna have to go this way. What is, is that a sea lion? Sea lion, why does he have a sea lion umbrella? What is that? Is that like a Animal Crossing's preppy brand or something? <laughs> I do not know. I love these planks. Hi, War Junior. I, I have said this recently, and I will say it again. It is a little bit of a controversial take, but I like Ward Jr. I do. I think he's cute, okay? I think he's cute. Some people loathe, loathe Ward Jr. I'm not one of those people. I am gonna push you though, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Ward Jr., but get out of my way. <laughs> and look, he has his own little swamp over here. I'm, I'm assuming this is his house, right? I'll be very embarrassed. Okay, good, good. It is his house. Whoa, this is beautiful. What? No, that is cool. That is cool. I bet there's a different viewpoint for those mountains on the right-hand side, so I'm gonna save it for there. Poor Junior, get out of my way. What are you doing? So pretty. And I can jump here. The, yeah, following the path is so handy. Thank you so much, Jen, for this. Helps people like me who get lost in these virtual worlds quite frequently. <laughs> A few more hops. This is Mabel's house, right? Fauna's house, I was wrong, Fauna. Cottage core queen. So pretty. Oh wait, look at this windmill too. It's, oh, oops, that didn't do it. But you can see it right here, how it's rusted. Is that the brown color way? I don't know, but it looks amazing. Ah, and here we are at resident services where it all began. <laughs> where it all began, but seriously, look Look at how beautiful this whole area is. And I do know that Abel Sisters is over here to the right because I saw it last time. It's just, it's so pretty. And these beaches, I cannot get over them. I love this path on the beach. I actually have this path downloaded and this is definitely a sign for me to use it on my beaches. An absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous way to decorate your beach rocks with some ruined pillars, columns, archways. It is all just so lovely. And the way that this bridge is placed so close to the river mouth and into the ocean is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of my very first island I did that, or something similar, Not, it wasn't quite as pretty as this. I'm obsessed with the beach. Oh, look back here. A little woodworking and painting station. Oh my gosh. Look at this carpentry shop. This is, and look, of course, where you can chop down some trees to get your wood. Who lives over here? I saw a villager house. Who is responsible for this amazing, amazing carpentry area? Which villager? This is cool too. Look at the diagonal pathing. So cool. So cool. Okay, yeah, who lives here? Who is our master woodworker? It's not Grizzly, not Marshall. Vivian! Vivian, you woodworking queen! Oh, I love it. Love it. 
Now, how do I get to that nook's cranny? I guess let's go. Let's go back to the front. We will make our way back to the front area. This is gorgeous. It really, truly is. Hello, cute little bunny rabbit. Even this area behind Able Sisters, and I pointed this out whenever I first saw this island, but I think it's just so pretty. Up here, gorgeous. Just stunning. And who lives, that must be Maple's house. It has to be, right? I guess it doesn't have to be anyone's house, but. <laughs> And here we have a little pizza, delish. Absolutely delish. Oh my gosh, what I wouldn't do for a pizza right now, I have been doing a challenge where I cannot have any junk. No, nothing. That would be junky. Oh, here's the ladder. I was looking for this. Oh, we have a little reading spot. This villager likes to read. I do believe this is Maple's house. Has to be. Isn't that cute? Even the gyroids in front of the villager's house like kind of match, kind of match their own aesthetic and <laughs> personality in a way. That's cute. Now, let's go to the right. No, we already went that way. Let's go to the left. We are going to go up this way because I think, oh wait, this is where the lookout is? Oh, oh my goodness. I saw a little sneak peek of it. Whoa, oh my goodness. Can I climb up here? Is there a ladder? Oh, there's the ladder. I see it, I see it, I see it. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Okay, there is a lot of brilliance happening here, but I, I, I have to point out how smart it is to use these stunted trees directly in front of those standees. That is brilliant because it covers the hole and makes it look a little bit more, you know, a little bit more full of leafage, of foliage. This is gorgeous. And you can come sit up here and relax. Absolutely stunning. Who doesn't love a good look out on an island? And here's Nook's Cranny. Oh my gosh, how cute. Just took, like, tucked away back here. I kind of love that. I feel like so often, at least I <laughs> definitely complain about the exteriors of like Nook's Cranny, Resident Services, the museum, Able Sisters, and how we can't customize them like we now can do with our villager homes, right? And that's great. I love that we can do that with our villager homes, but we can't do that with the other buildings, which is unfortunate. But why not just use terraforming around it? That was kind of a perfect example of how you can do that. She really showed us like, yeah, just terraform. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Now let's get to the left front side. I think which way am I going? There we go. Follow the path. When in doubt, follow the path. So here we are back at Bo's house. I wonder, let me see if we can get up to the front this way. I don't think we can. But maybe. Does the speech wrap around? Oh, we didn't go through this bridge. This is where it is. Okay. Pretty. I love this natural river. You can tell that this is a part of the original map. And I, I just love that. Love the mushroom items, the little pops of color we have. This is so pretty. I can't get over this code, the one that's underneath the decayed tree right here. 
It's just, just lovely. And look at how cute this spot is. Oh my gosh, a little place where people have been doing some treasure hunting. Oh, this is, this is adorable. Hi again, Eric, good to see you. <laughs> that is just so stinking cute. And this, oh, this is the other incline. Oh, okay, before we go up there, can I, okay, no, I cannot get through that way. Or actually, maybe? Can I get to the beach that way? I cannot. We're gonna go up the incline. <laughs> what is this? It looks like it's gonna be a factory. Look at the flames, what? Is this a gyroid factory? Oh my God, it is. It is a gyroid factory. Whoa. No way. This is so cool. Look at how the fragments are on the robot arms and then the fully produced gyroids are of course on the conveyor belts. Wow, this is where they all came from. This is where all of the gyroids came from. This is amazing. A whole entire gyroid factory. Oh my gosh, my mind is blown. It's huge too. This whole back area is huge. That is so cool. I genuinely don't know how else to express how I feel about it. It's just so cool. This whole back left corner is the gyroid factory. That is amazing. And I was kidding whenever I first was like, what, is this where you make the gyroids? It is, Katie. Exactly where that happens. That is so neat. Okay, let's go to the front. I am determined to get to the left side of the beach. I just need to follow the path and not actually stray from it. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> Now I'm on the left side of the beach. <laughs> and I'm obsessed. Hi, Vivian. I love your carpenter area. Um, big fan. It looks beautiful. And then this, I do know, is Grizzly's house. Oh, what a beautiful exterior. I love it. If I had Grizzly again on my island, which he has been a cranky of mine before, I... The only thing I would change would be the roof. That's it. I love the exterior of his home. I mean, aren't these beaches amazing? Oh, I just love them. Oh, ooh. Ooh, this path actually looks beautiful on the dock as well. Was not expecting that, but I love it. And look how cute this is. Little fishing pole. A little lost item right there. Probably full of bait manila clams this is so pretty it feels so like swampy in a way <laughs> very overgrown is this more of the gyroid factory but on the beach is it let's see oh here's the peninsula oh it's like a shipping a shipping dock this is where the gyroids get shipped away and sent off to uh, another island. Look at that one on the far left. <laughs> so cute. This is brilliant. That is such a fun concept. We've seen factories, of course, being built on islands before, like either abandoned factories, rundown factories. I've seen a soup factory before. But having something specific to Animal Crossing, like a gyroid factory, that is so cool. Something I've never seen, and quite frankly, something that I love. I am so happy that I found Jen and she was willing to let me see this amazing island 
in a full dedicated tour because it really is like this is one of those islands that cures my burnout it really really does just seeing how many different ways you can decorate villager homes reminding my my own self that you can set islands in different seasons and weather patterns it's all just so beautiful i can't get over just how pretty this is so stunning i definitely want to put a wishing well on my island after seeing this <laughs> isn't that beautiful oh hello little bubble bubble man it's just so pretty and the fact that Bo is here it's just a perfect island what can what can you say absolutely beautiful well you guys I hope you enjoyed this this beautiful island I, it's so stunning I am absolutely obsessed with it Jen thank you so much for letting me tour your gorgeous island I just want to thank y'all so so much as well for the positive feedback on um the recent community post that I put here on YouTube and if you have not seen it uh please go go and find it give it a quick read and again I appreciate all of the kind words regarding those announcements that I gave and I love you guys I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in this big old beautiful world and I will see y'all in the next one bye bye